get you an interesting conversation. My colleague Shivani Bazaar caught up with Abhishek Singh, Managing Director and CEO of Digital India Corporation, and asked him on the country's digital transformation and more. Listen into that conversation. See, India is well known for its digital transformation projects. The whole world looks up at India that we have implemented some of these projects at real population scale, whether it's Aadhaar, UPI, DigiLocker, Covin, everywhere. So when the whole world is coming to India for the G20, we wanted to showcase this to the entire world, to the delegates, to the country representatives, to the media, and let them have an immersive experience. Let them experience these projects in such a way that they will not only get to know what these projects are, but they will be interested in trying to see how they can replicate these projects in their own countries. So for that, we have curated this exhibition in such a way that we are, they are not just seeing, they are actually experiencing. Whether they are scanning a QR code or whether they are looking at Bhashini or whether having a metaverse experience of Digital India projects or whether doing a real-time telemedicine consultation with a doctor or whether looking at a Diksha textbook or looking at how ONDC works. So that is the whole idea of letting people know how these projects work and making them believe that yes, they can be replicated in their own countries. Yeah. So that's the whole intent about this project. Yeah. Uh, so I believe there are two of such experience experience centers. One is here and one is in Hall 14, 14 right? Yes. Uh, so you are, as you said, showcasing this to the international media, the guests, the delegates, everybody. What is here all in all of these, like Bhashini, the ONDC, everything? What are the things that Indians can use? What are the things for citizens, not who, people who are not the citizens of India? See, like uh, the, these projects are all for all Indians can use any time. But for especially for the foreign delegates, we have curated a few interesting things. Like for example, the Bhashini project involves real-time translations, real-time conversations in Indian languages. But what we also did was that for the purpose of G20, we built in a functionality wherein we integrated all the G20 languages. So whether it's Spanish, French, Russian, uh, Italian, Japanese, Indonesian, uh, Mandarin. So all these languages have been inter uh, integrated here. And there is a functionality on the G20 app when it allows you to converse in your own language and the other person will here in his own language. So a Spanish pers speaking person can talk to a Hindi speaking person or a French speaking person can talk to a Mandarin speaking person. So that functionality has been built in for the G20 delegates. Similarly, there is another tool that we have built in wherein you can ask questions in your language about G20 and get real answers in your own language about that, the, the Jugalbandi interface that we have built in. Plus, for the UPI, like Indians know what UPI is, we use it all the time. But foreign delegates may not be able to use UPI because they don't have an Indian bank account or Indian number. So for them, what we have done is that we have given them dummy phones, Indian phones, with which they can scan a QR code and buy a product from the vending machine, or they can. there are two phones with which they can transfer a 1 rupee or 10 rupees, and just to experience how it works. So we have customized a lot of our solutions for giving them a real-time experience of the projects that we have implemented. Okay. So last question. What do you aim from all of this? Do you think that all of this, as you said, is also a way of telling people, telling the world what we have done and what they can learn from it, right? So what is the main aim, main goal? The G20 delegates, the heads of states, all important people here in the room uh, in a couple of days. So uh, what is, what are you looking at? What are your expectations? See, digital public infrastructure has been an important vertical under the Digital Economy Working Group. And one of the decisions that the Digital Economy Working Group in G20 has come to is to build up a global DPI repository, a global repository of such digital transformation solutions which the whole world can adopt. So India being a pioneer in this field, we are one of the key contributors to the global DPI repository. So our projects are available for the entire world to adopt. And a lot of countries have already shown interest in this. Six countries have signed MOUs, other countries are looking at it. So what we feel is that this will lead to replication of some of these projects in multiple Indian country, in multiple countries. And then that happens. It will create an opportunity for Indian IT companies to implement those projects. It will create opportunities for creating jobs for Indian youth. And ultimately it will help us in spreading the Indian ethos and Indian way of implementation of projects entire world. It makes a big thing when it comes to spreading the Indian influence across the world is concerned.